What are you working on today, Phil? Well, guys, check it out. We're working on Tammy and Durga. Excellent! So, listen, guys. Obviously, there's a lot done to this Durga already. I've got some shock sitting here we're going to put on more on that in a second but this is kind of one of these projects that i started a month or two ago and then it fell by the wayside with squash fans and bbx's and super sabers and all sorts of re-releases that got me way too excited so this video is going to be a little bit out of sync i apologize for that but uh, it's just kind of the way things went with the durga so without further ado let's get into it I started a video series on the body because as you can see I went very, very far away from box art. More on that in a little bit. Let's play a little bit of catch up on where we're at, how we got here, and then we'll kind of rewind the clock and go back and uh, go over the body, all that good stuff, how I came up with this insane body design. And then last but not least, we've got some really nice Tamiya oil filled dampers to put on this guy to complete the look. When I saw the Durga and I saw the box art, I thought, man, we could do so much better than that. That box art, honestly, in my opinion, looks so bland. This body has got amazing design elements. This car has amazing design elements. I mean, Tambia made a TRF version of this that's strictly designed for racing, specifically built to race. I utilized a couple different painting methods. I used some different painting masks. I used lots of different colors, obviously lots of bright colors and came up with sort of a paint scheme that would work with the lines of the body and with the decals that come in the kit. I just picked this stuff up off of uh, Amazon. Just, it's just a wrap. And we're gonna wrap the rest of the wheels, by the way, in this video today. So if you guys wanna get really wacky and creative, you can put super colorful wrap on your wheels too, if you're into that kind of thing. What else can I tell you about it? Check out that spoiler, guys. I wanted to paint these portions of the wing purple. And you can see how I backed everything with white and there's kind of this purple overspray on the wing. And I wanted it to look that way. I just kind of sat the wing down inside the box and I sprayed the sides purple, which I've then sprayed white. But um, yeah, I allowed the overspray to kind of get in. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. Let's get the body off next and get a closer look in here. So one of the neatest things about this chassis is, well, first of all, look at the chassis itself. It's very wide, it's very flat, but it's got this big hump here. You might ask yourself, what the heck is with the hump, Phil? Well, let me tell you guys, we've got a center mounted motor, which is really unique. This is a, a pretty different thing for Tammy to do something like this. You've got the large hump in the center, that's for your spur gear. And then we've got a belt driving the front diff and a separate belt driving the rear diff. Really, really neat design. She's got dual bell crank steering, adjustable steering rods, adjustable turnbuckles, came with CVA oil dampers. I threw in the super stock TZ motor a Hobbywing 1060 ESC, which is a, it's a knockoff, but, and a 25 kg waterproof Amazon servo. And at this point, I really don't know what to do with the kit. It's kind of too nice to bash around. I think I might actually take it to my local carpet track. I haven't raced in over 10 years, but I think it might be time to get this thing out and give it a whirl. I think it might be a lot of fun. Anyway, a super, super cool buggy. Let's get the shocks on there. But before we do that, We'll talk about this body here, guys. Tell me what you think of this in the comments and be honest with me. There's definitely some bleed through, some imperfections in this body. Honestly, I'm I'm loving it. I'm really proud of it. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of me taking the clear protective film off and everything because honestly, guys, when I was done painting it, I hated how it looked. I thought I made a major mistake, um, but then I went ahead, put the rest of the stickers on and they did exactly what I was hoping they would do. They'd break up the white and the yellow and really brought this thing out and made it look awesome. You can see I've got quite a bit of bleed through here where I was kind of experimenting with these, these different masking techniques. I think it came out looking awesome. It is far from perfect, but I think it looks super duper rad. Excellent! What's going on everyone? Thanks again for tuning in to Poor Boys RC. I might be way out in left field here, I don't know. Um, but I've got an idea in my head. I want to go kind of funky with it and I need some good inspiration and I'm going to start with this body. Speaking of inspiration, I was playing around with some bright colors. I want this thing to pop a little bit. So for primary colors, I've got the Tamiya PS10 purple. I've got the PS27 fluorescent yellow. Interesting little <laughs> contrast in colors there. I think that should look pretty good. Of course, to make these really bright colors pop, you're going to need a bit of black on the body to give it um, to give it the contrast and then you're gonna have to back the bright colors with white to really make them pop from behind. 
And as far as the idea for the paint job is, I want to work with the natural body lines. That runs all the way up like this on either side. So I'm thinking this is going to have to be my purple, which I think I'm going to fade into black back here. Then we're going to have our fluorescent yellow come down the sides and mix that into the white. I want to show you guys that you can do a really, really cool looking paint job, make it really funky, make it look very special. And you don't have to have an expensive airbrush or a ton of talent because I don't have either. <laughs> Oh wait, I do have an airbrush, <laughs> but I don't know how to use it. There, there goes the talent part again. So what is this? What's on my shirt? This is why I can't have nice things. All right, so that's all the heavy lifting done as far as the outline goes. So this should give you guys a bit of a better idea of what we're going for. I don't know about you, but it's kind of confusing, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to get the big thick bad boy roll of tape out and I'm going to now tape off these sides. We don't want paint there. Just like that, she is all masked up and ready for the first coat of paint. Let's go make it happen. But you know, I got this masked up now and I got this stuff. I'm thinking maybe I'll put some of this, the dots on the back, let's see. Let's see, maybe this will work, maybe it won't. Well guys, I got a little bit carried away there off camera and this is what I've come up with. What do you think? I know it's kind of hard to see with the, uh, the pattern there. You see it in black now, but basically the black is this white paint dots masking stuff here. So um, I've got you know a couple sections of it there and then a, a big section up front here. Again, I'm just kind of spitballing ideas. I'm going with the flow. Definitely didn't plan to do this this way. I'm just kind of playing with it as I go, seeing what I think might look cool on the fly, making decisions on the fly and crossing my fingers and hoping that my decisions are good. Decisions. <laughs> Oh, it could be a mess. It could be awesome. Let's go find out. I think I made a mess of it. Let's unmask this and see what we're looking at. Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Oh, a little bit. Okay, well, that could have been worse. So overall, it doesn't look too, too bad. But up here, yeah, you can, you can definitely see some blemishes where either I put the paint on too thick or the masking wasn't fully stuck, so it kind of bled through a little bit. And I don't know how I could possibly fix that without sanding it all out and redoing it. <laughs> we might just cover it up with some stickers. Well, what did I say earlier? If you screw up, we're going to have to pivot. We're going to have to make decisions on the fly. So I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the masking. So the masking is still on here, the perforated masking with the holes in it. I'm going to paint the purple next. So I'm going to go purple up here, purple back here. And then from there, we'll plan to spray our fluorescent yellow. I think we may be able to salvage this guy. <laughs> So unmasked and here is what we've got. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, it's not perfect. If I had a nickel for every imperfect body I had back there, I'd have a lot of nickels. <laughs> I can definitely live with it. There's some, you know, up here, we've got a little bit of overspray. Over here, it's a little bit, a little bit buggered up there. So I'm gonna clean that stuff up off camera. Again, guys, this isn't so much of a tutorial video. Uh, this is more of just, hey, look at this stupid idea that I had and let's see if we can make something work. But if you want to know how to clean that up, uh, again, look down in the description box. I'm going to link, uh, throw some links down there because uh, I've already done videos covering all this kind of stuff. There we have it, guys. Wish me luck. The idea is the unmasked area right now. We're going to paint the fluorescent yellow. Got it cleaned up as best as I can. It's going to wrap all the way around to the back. It's going to fill in these spaces here in between these dots. And then once that is done, we're going to hit the whole thing with white, back the whole vehicle body with white, see what we end up with. <laughs> Wish me luck. Excellent! Yay! Hey Phil, what's on the bench today? Well, let me tell you guys, we are going to work on the Tamiya Durga. All right, so what are we going to need to get these wheels done? First of all, uh, get some rubbing alcohol. That's what I like to use and we're gonna use that to clean the plastic rims So real quick guys what I did was I just kind of peeled the tire back a little bit just like that I'll take it off just a little bit more so we have a little more leeway. So that's kind of that's it by cleaning this off with some rubbing alcohol We've got a nice surface now we can work with don't forget to get around sort of around that lip as well And as far as these wacky films go, I mean there are a ton of different uh, vinyl films out there you can get these days I got these on Amazon. Different colors, there's textures, there's there's 
you know, the sky's the limit, guys. So I'm just kind of starting in the middle and kind of working it out to the perimeter. Something like that. This is where you want to get your heat gun out. And I'm going to, I'm going to get this nice and warm. And then I'm going to start folding these edges over and wrapping it around this little lip here. And keep in mind, I am no professional. <laughs> this is really the first time I've ever done this. So if you are really knowledgeable in the world of wrapping and you want to share some of your trade secrets, uh, please feel free to in the comments below. Uh, and don't uh, don't beat me up because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, uh, just a guy figuring it out as I go. <laughs> so here's where we're at right now, kind of a hacked up mess. At this point, I'm going to remove the, there's a clear plastic uh, film that's kind of that's on this vinyl wrap that's intended to protect it. So I'm gonna remove that right now as well. Pretty hack. So <clears throat> gonna hit it with the hairdryer one more time. Get this really, really nice and hot. I'm gonna try and mold it around that lip. Heat makes it so much more malleable. So if you don't have a hair dryer, maybe try and find a heat gun or something because it really makes a difference when, when wrapping this around. So there are a couple little imperfections that I'm seeing here. Maybe these are just little air bubbles or something. Let's see if we can give it a little slit with the old X-Acto. Put a little slit in there and then kind of squeeze the air out of there. Overall, I think that looks pretty Pretty cool. So let's get the tire mounted back on the lip. And while it's not perfect, I'm sure professional could do a much better job than I can. Ta-da! That looks pretty dope, if you ask me. So now we've got the centerpiece we have to cut out. You're gonna want a nice, sharp, exacto blade. And I just get it right inside there. Gently cut along the edge. That's <laughs> why. I butchered that hole a little bit. It does not look as nice as I would like it to. But there's a little bit of trial and error involved in this. I think that was a bit of an error, but it doesn't look too, too bad. And when it's flying by you at 30 miles an hour, you'll never know the difference. <laughs> I don't know. It looks cool. Like, it's, it's not something I would normally ever want to build or do, but ah, I'm digging it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, okay? Super trippy moon disc wheels or standard black? What do you think? What would you do on yours? I like the super trippy moon discs. I'm not going to lie. Like this body has just got, you know, it's got so many crazy design elements. It's got this big wing here and all these, you know, air inlets. And it, it's just, to me, it's screaming for something extreme, something unique and just really different and funky. And I think this really does help set it off. Okay. Enough yakking. Let's do two more. Let's compare this crazy monstrosity <laughs> to, let's say, an image of box art. <laughs> Which one do you guys prefer? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It's out there. It's definitely different, but I, I really, really like it. Sound like a broken record. Okay, Google, what does the word Durga mean? According to Wikipedia, the word Durga literally means impassable, invincible, unassailable. That's badass. That's a great name. It's the impassable buggy, the Durga. I dig it. Okay, so Tamiya hop-up options, buggy, aeration, dampers. Let's open these bad boys up and see what this is all about. awesome look at that guys what a beauty that is 
an absolute man i can't get enough of it i'm loving it look at that bad boy imagine that chasing you down at the local carpet track wow deadly now for the bad news it's winter time and we are getting crazy amounts of rain right now I don't have anywhere to run this thing. Maybe I can turn some laps to the local track. Uh, other than that, I'm going to be waiting until, you know, springtime kind of thing. Uh, when the weather finally turns around, I can get this thing out on the beach. But, you know, it doesn't even look like a beach buggy, does it? Like, I don't know if the beach is the right spot to run this. What a beauty. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are loving it. Let me know down below what you guys think of this thing. I know I've asked you 10 times, but uh, it's a rare occasion when I step outside of box art. And when I do, nine times out of 10, I screw it up. This time, I really, really dig it, and I think it looks fantastic. So thanks again for all the support to the channel. Thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up means so, so much to us small YouTube content creators. It means the world. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being here and hanging out, and as always, be excellent to each other.